Hi, Mike, Frank's fiddle. Frank, I keep bringing to promise to bring him over. Different hat, Ted Baker flat cap. And this is not going to be the hat either. Particularly proud, just eating spaghetti and meatballs. Crystal, pristine. <coughs> okay. Uh, following on from the previous thoughts that I had, uh, this is not going to stay on. Uh, backwards, right backwards. No. Following on from the previous thoughts that I had about um, songs and music and what I'm going to do, there was one other song, I couldn't remember what it was that I said that I was going to keep in this little group of songs, and it was um, Ode to Joy, uh, which I'm going to play now. And um, I've been thinking, how can I do this? How can I get better? And I've sort of got it in my mind that what I need to do now for me is I need to learn at least two of these things. And the first one I'm going to do is Ode to Joy because it's a straightforward tempo. And I'm tempted to do the Tennessee Waltz as the other one because it's a waltz tempo and therefore there's no fiddling involved and I've sort of got it in my mind that what I need to do is I need to get a couple of these pieces down as my sort of go-to pieces and then when I'm scrambling about trying to learn fiddle and stuff and I get a bit disheartened because at the moment what I do is I go back to a scale and I think if you listen on oh, I'm going to do a, there's a fiddlehead a conference thing, um, a podcast, open office hours thing, in about 40 minutes. So that's why I'm doing this now. And um, Jason's big on going back to scales and using that as your bass, as your ground. And I, and I get that, but the limited because it's just eight notes in each scale. Unless you do the full G scale, then it's 16 notes, I think. I'm going to have to find out. <laughs> But you've got like eight notes, you play the D scale, you've got eight notes, and you keep going, and yes, okay, and you can feel confident with that. But, um, and you can mess around with the different tempos on that, which is what Jason, I think, keeps coming back to, getting that grounded. But for me, I, I and I get that, and I do that, that's my warm up when I, when I start, I do the warm up and I do the scales, and I've noticed I'm going through the scales quicker as well, which I don't want to stop and go back to being a bit slow with the with the scales and making the notes sound better rather than just going through the scales. I want to make the notes sound better. In fact, I've just been doing that. I've been using long bow on the scale to make the note sound and try and keep the same level of note all the way through because that's the other thing I find. The note sort of, as it gets towards the end of the bow, I said this before, it gets a bit, a bit weaker, a bit lighter. I think I also have to, today need to put some rosin on my bow. I think it needs a bit of, bit of rosin on there. Anyway, so the other song was Ode to Joy, and I'm going to do that now, although I can't, I can't see the damn notes now, I need to put my glasses back on. Um, <coughs> and as I say, I can do, I, I think that one and um, either Oh Susanna or, or um, Tennessee Waltz, and also the Happy Birthday song. There, but the Happy Birthday song just gets a little bit repetitive. They're going to be my fallback. So when I get into trying to do other things with the fiddling, and it gets a bit squawky and a bit horrible, instead of going back to the scales, if I can get these right, and these be my staple, right, let's go to joy, start from there again, and get some confidence in that, and there will be my confidence builds. So I'm gonna put my glasses on again, because I can't see over there. I've got lights all around here, and that's in the dark, so, um, and I think I know this, but as soon as I think I know it, I, I start playing, and I, and I lose, it, lose a note. So, so this is Ode to Joy, and if you don't know it, you'll recognise it when it when it starts. Well, I hope you will. <laughs> if you don't, I really am bad. So this is Ode to Joy, and then I'm just going to do something with the scales at the end, just so I can remind myself what I was doing. So here we go. Um, this is by this is Ode to Joy by Beethoven.
just thought of that again and I'll tell you what I was doing there I was doing perfectly fine and then I realized I was straying over here with my bow and I bloody lost it because I started looking at the, what the bow was doing instead of what the fingers were doing so I'm going to do this again and I'm going to try to concentrate on the notes and the bow will be what the bow will be I'll check it later that's Ode to Joy and I'm trying to get that so that I can play that and you can see my rhythm goes a little bit as well so I've got a metronome on my thing so I'm going to start using the metronome for that to try and make it more solid but <coughs> the other thing that I'm doing with my with my scales is I start with the um, and then I start doing longbow Jason calls Tucker, I don't need my glasses on for this, I can take these off. do that with all the scales so I'll go from the A to the G to the, uh, from the G to the E string and back again and I do that and that's sort of my warm up but just using that as a fallback it gets a bit sort of blare so um, so that's my warm up and my fallback now is going to be Ode to Joy <laughs> Ode to Joy believe it or not Oh Susanna Tennessee Waltz Happy Birthday song and then there's a couple of others that I'm going to start to get into because you can fiddle with them one of them believe it or not is twinkle twinkle little star because jason on his site has got a way to do the fiddle with that so they're the ones that i'm going to try to get the fiddle fingering and the rhythms with and these are going to be my fallback playing longbow playing nice and making the notes sound nice so that's where i am um a couple of months in not quite a couple of months um it'll be two months next weekend not this week uh, yeah maybe this weekend coming yeah this weekend coming I think will be two months so that's where I am at two months um, fiddling the actual fiddling part the play the fiddle method of playing still seems a very long way off and it is a long way off and I'm not in the least bit worried about that but um, I just really don't think I've got the dexterity for it so I may have to find my own little way to play tunes which is sort of not concert violinist and not fiddling but something in between I, I think I'm gonna to have to find my own way to do it because if I want to do Irish jigs and reels and that kind of stuff at the moment I just don't see that I've got it I don't see that I'm gonna have that dexterity I might be wrong and I'm not giving up on that but I'm, I'm sort of tempering my expectations and managing my expectations a little. so I'm gonna do a bit more practice I'm gonna get ready for the for the Fiddlehead um, uh, Office Hours webinar thing, which I'm looking forward to. And I'm gonna post this tomorrow when I get to work because it uploads so much quicker at work <laughs> than it does here at home. 
my internet connection here is pretty pants for this kind of thing so there we are not sure about the hat if anybody's got comments about the hat like to hear them think it's think this is not the one this is not this is not the fiddle hat I do have a hat which is going to be great if I find it but um, anyway see you soon happy fiddling